So we did the drive over Coniston, we didn't stop in Coniston, but now we're in Ambleside, and I'm just going back to the car to retrieve the GoPro that I left in the windscreen. <laughs> Probably don't want to do that. I don't know where I'm going. Just, right. So let's follow Gemma then. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going. You're ambling in Ambleside? Yeah. It's okay. the place for it. Again, sort of a bit more of a touristy light district area, if you can call it that. A lot of little B&Bs here. Yeah. Well, isn't, this, isn't there an American style B&B here? There was, well? at one point I think, yeah. I think we looked at staying there but it didn't have parking. So. Yeah. I think it was cheap, that's why we looked at it. <laughs> it just came off and it was because it was American style. Yeah, it's like Design, but... interesting having that in the lips. We just went to a shop, well, past a shop that's open daily. It said open daily, closed on Thursdays. Then in the next window there was a sign that was, said, we're hey, open, we're welcome, open. yeah. <laughs> And then there was a big close sign on the door. I mean, it is Thursday, but it does say open daily. I'm confused. Do you know, the lake's been much better if it was just flattened it all out. <laughs> I just found um, a, there's a Giggling Goose Cafe over there, honey. How pretty is that? And this is the house in front of, over the bridge, sorry, we just filmed. Property of the National Trust now. I love these stairs. Yeah. Wow. Like, uh... Look at that. Imagine living there. <laughs> yeah, what it is, is it's, it's, you? You know, it's, it's a two floor toilet. <laughs> You're the unlucky one if you got the one upstairs. Sorry, downstairs. Lots of mountain wire houses here. Oh, yeah, so. <laughs> There's a lot of mountains here, so I suppose it does stand to reason you. Did you ever find the American style B&B? <laughs> Looks very American. I'm assuming the rooms are sort of themed or something. Yeah, I think you do an American style breakfast. Yeah. All right. As well. Pancakes. And after a quite a bit of driving to make sure that my battery and my car was charged and because it was a nice place to drive back in the hotel having a pint Cheers honey, I know you're not reaching for your glass <laughs> Come on Cheers <laughs> Cheers <laughs> Hands cheers, in the wear okay. Cheers So what did we just do? We ate dinner Where did we eat dinner? We ate dinner in the hotel's restaurants Paisley's oh. restaurant It was really nice wasn't it? Was it? Very good, yeah very good yeah. Um, nice thing because we got the room special we get like £40 off the bill so it literally came to £15, £15 for yeah. two courses and I had two beers and you had a glass of wine mm -hmm. you had prawns to start didn't I you? had prawns to start mm -hmm. it was really fancy it was like a they cut the cucumber lengthways and wrapped it round like a little bed of prawns and there was prawn toast on the side and a salad it was very nice, mm -hmm. very fresh big and portion I for a start actually mm -hmm. Your you man was soup. You had yes. soup. Yes, I had soup. Like... Yeah, confuse me. I don't, I don't know which angle, I'm, which way around I'm doing this. I had it was a new potato and coriander soup. I think wasn't it? It was. Yeah. Very nice. 
And oh, we, we had the bread as well. The bread was oh, really good. Yeah, it was a house special homemade bread. She asked us to taste, and it was it was quite che cheesy with a bit of spice mm -hmm. with pancetta bacon. It was very good, mm. very very good. Really nice. I think we ate all the pancetta stuff because the others got spicy bread that burnt mouth. <laughs> We won. Um, and the main course, we both had the same, which was yeah. the rump, lamb rump, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And it was oh, great. It was lovely, that one. Yeah, it was like, we the vegetables were like, the it was like a surprise of the vegetables, because each time you went in with a fork, you come up with a new vegetable. <laughs> it sounds really weird when I say it, but it was really good. It was and loads of veg, it was hidden veg. There um, was green beans, sugar snap peas, um, baby sweet corn, spinach, Spring cabbage, red cabbage, carrots. Then there was some sort of like deep fried cabbage on the um, carrots on the top. Did I say cabbage twice then? What did I say, carrots? I can't remember. Anyway. You've only had a glass of wine as well. <laughs> yeah, but the food is that spectacular. It's made me drunk. You're drunk on good I'm food. I'm drunk on good food and lots of veg. Yeah. Drunk on veg. And the dude from Oz potatoes went. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Dolphin nose potatoes. Yeah. I, I can't stop saying dolphin nose potatoes. Because I'm a noob. So now we're going to go, we've found a bar called... It's going to make me walk a long time for a bar. Called the... Crafty Bar. Crafty Bar. Crafty Bar. Crafty Bar. Crafty bar. And um, it's apparently a craft beer bar, so we're going to go and check that out. Really? What gave it away? Was it the name? Well, it could be a... <coughs> House of Sheep. It could be a knit. I bet we get House it. House of Sheep. I What's... bet we get it and it's a knitting bar. Yeah, that's what it is. And you sit down and you have... So um, knit with nanas. You have a cup of tea. And it's... I like tea. And, and you, well, well, that's unfortunate. You, you go in the crafty bar and knit some, knit some t-shirts. <laughs> knit some t-shirts. <laughs> this is going well. No. I'm going to knit you a nice cardigan. Car cardigan. No, cardigan. Cardigan. No, I can talk properly. It's a cardigan. No, it's not. You were a cardigan <laughs> on the buzz. There's no such thing as a buzz. There's a buzz. No. That's what you catch. No. To go no. to town, in your cardigan. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> shut up. I've not had four beers today so far. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna go to the crafty bar and have another beer or two. Mm -hmm. Should carry on filming me now. Yeah. Stop talking. Ooh, it's really dark now. At night, when generally it goes dark. <laughs> so we're going to walk up to, is it? Windermere. Windermere. It, I always get them mixed up because Bowness is by the lake. Windermere is where the train station is. Yeah. So we're going up to Windermere, which is about a 20 minute walk. Bowness is about a 10 minute walk. Windermere is a flatter walk. We hope. So, one of the hotels up here when we first came was a theme hotel. We don't know if it's still here or not, but it had rooms including a caveman themed room. <laughs> and it was literally like animal skins on the bed and stuff, wasn't it? It was very, very interesting. <laughs> Business. I think it was kind of like something that if you did it now, it would probably catch on. But when we first came, was like probably about twelve years ago, <laughs> and it just hadn't, it just didn't catch on back then. They just updated from the spooky tour of Windermere. I've switched phones to the one switch phones, oh, switch cameras. The spookiest toilets. All oh, right, yeah, the world's spookiest toilets. 22. 20. Get murdered. <laughs> to get murdered? Yeah. I was thinking 20p gets you a little bit of a ghost story. Ooh. It's really windy as well and I've just realised why this might not be the best camera. The ghost story is Karen went to these toilets and while she was there she had to crack a taser because it's ghost murdery central. Ghost murdery central. Of course in Windermere if you take a wrong turn you could end up halfway up a mountain. Or in a lake. Or in a lake. <laughs> Or halfway up a mountain in a lake. That is possible. So this is pretty 
Yeah. 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 Yeah, it'll be worse. Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah. it's home time. Well, it's not home time. It's go back to the hotel time. Because yeah, the pub rang the last door, doesn't it? Yes, it was very nice in there, wasn't it? Was it? It's a good atmosphere. Yeah. Staff are there friendly. Lots of advice on beer. Lots of beer. <laughs> Lots of beer. So if you ever in Windermere, or a bonus on Windermere, um, check out the Crafty Bar. Yeah. B-A-A, B -A, like cheap bar. Yeah, it was really good. Um, I was going to say something, I had this. I had something I was going to say and it's gone. It's gone right clean. I had my first Japanese white beer which was pretty cool. never had one of those before. And you had a peanut stout, I had didn't a you? peanut, no I didn't, I had a peanut porter. A peanut porter of course, yeah. That was very good. Yeah. Plus they give you free popcorn. Yeah. The popcorn was awesome. <laughs> it was a little bit salty and a little bit sweet as well. No, not for me. I don't like salty popcorn. Salty popcorn is the tool of the devil. It tasted a bit like bacon maple syrup. Popcorn. Oh, right. That's that the that I forgot. Yeah. The camera seems to be more interested in focusing on behind us than us. So. We do have some interesting shots. Yeah. <laughs> it's cold. It is cold. So we're going to go back to the hotel and we're going to sleep after having a nice cup of coffee or tea, depending on your preference. Coffee. Tea. See you later. Bye. Bye bye. It's Friday morning. We just checked out. We did. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what that face was. It was. We ended up running a charge of fifteen pounds onto the bill, yeah. which was literally for last night's meal because they knocked forty quid off the meal because we booked a special deal, which means I think I mentioned the other day you get twenty pound off per person in the hotel bar or restaurant. So we used it to mostly have a free meal. I think we just effectively paid for the drinks. Yeah. So we're just in town now, we're going to check out a couple of shops. You want to get some mice, don't you? I want to get some mice. <laughs> yeah, and I want to get some beer, probably, I don't know. Well, the beer shop is opposite the car park. Yeah, so. true. We can, we can head back up that way on the way back on that side. Yeah. And then we're going to go north, even though we live south, because we want to call at T-Bay services on the motorway. Mm -hmm. Now, Normal services in Britain are terrible, as people are probably aware. T-Bay is a farm shop, and they have a butcher, and they have home-cooked home bacon, they have craft beers, it's amazing. It's so good that we're actually going to go out of our way on purpose just to call her. <laughs> but it's a nice drive as well, so that helps. We thought, while well, it's a nice day, we'll come back to check out the lake again. Crazy geese and swans are still here. Um, the crazy tourists are getting very close to them. <laughs> one seagull per pole. No seagulls must share. In fact, it works better on that one. There's only one pole <laughs> <laughs> empty. There's a seagull though that's letting its guard down as well. He bought cast iron mast. Mast? Mast? mast. mast. <laughs> Wow, for the man in the island. So let's start that again. <laughs> you bought cast iron mice, didn't you? Just cross here. Cross, cross here. Maybe awkward a bit further. Okay. Maybe awkward here. I think that's a big bargain. Well, we're back in the car. Uh, you bought some mice, didn't you? Bought some mice. Bought some cast iron mice. Mm -hmm. And then we got some fentimans again, because we have fentimans. That's a new one, isn't it? Elder. Have you had that one before? No. It's oh, nice. It's lovely, don't I? It's lovely, yeah. Very refreshing. And only slightly sparkling. Mmm, tastes good though. I do like elderflower. Should get some elderflower cordial. It's elderflower and it's got fermented ginger root and pear juice. Mmm, very nice. Well. So from here we're going to drive out to T-Bear South. I've set me sat nav, which will probably guide me down some farm tracks or something. <laughs> we'll see what happens there. Unfortunately it's not taking us past the lake. I was going to head north, up past Ambleside, and see if we could go out that way. But I'm kind of thinking I'll just follow the sat nav. Oh wow, never mind. Unless you want to do that. No, it's fine. We'll go on the route that the sat nav's taking us. Okay, well, and then we'll, we'll check out T-Bay. See you later. See you later. And we made it to T-Bay. If we spend £30 or more, we get 10p a litre of fuel. Let's get spending. <laughs> There's loads of rooks in the car park as well. Can I walk down that way or this one? 
So I came out of there about £40 lighter, having bought nine bottles of beer and two massive steaks. And some biscuits. For <laughs> and some biscuits for a house, but not a house, a thank house. you gift. A thank you gift, yeah. Uh, oh, and a bottle of Fentiment because <laughs> I'm thirsty again. We are home. It's been a little while, we've got comfortable, the dog's been whining since we got back. I am just cooking up the gigantic steaks that we bought from Tiba. I only thought it proper to show you the finished article. Steak, the fry, the um, potato wedges and the stuffed mushroom and for Gemma. Can I get <laughs> sauce out of this bottle? Oh dear. She's having some Red's Devil Wing barbecue sauce. Probably end, actually end at chicken wings, but... On it goes. And for me, some good old Heinz Tommy Care. Other brands are available. Hi everyone, it's Mark here. We really hope you enjoyed the vlog. Please remember to give us a like and a quick subscribe to be the first to know when our next video goes live. Don't worry, it's completely free. And I promise I'm not reading this off a screen. Also, check out some of our Florida playlists where you can lose yourself in the joy that is Orlando, Disney, and me getting lost and being told off by Jem. Have fun, and we don't have a catchphrase. See ya!